Inconvenient Interviews with Risa. Hi guys, this is Risa with Inconvenient Interviews with Risa and Hello Giggles. Today I'm interviewing Larissa Olenek. Do you remember this name? Alex Mack, my favorite TV show growing up. Well, now she's a star of the theater and television still. And she's in this new show called Who's Your Bag Daddy? If you're in New York City, you can catch it. It opens this Saturday. Um, I already saw it because I got like a free sort of special Hey. Like Larissa, oh my God! Hi, hi, Risa. How's it going? How's the subway? Um, it was fantastic. So I'm really excited uh, to see. I'm gonna see the show again tonight. I've already seen it once. I got a yeah. special press yeah. comp. Oh, um, wow! Remember, I met you backstage and you said, "Hey, I'm Larissa," and I went, <coughs> "Yeah, I do remember that." <laughs> cool. So should we head oh, to yeah, the actors' yeah, temple? Go. Yeah, I'm. I was supposed to be there at five, but it's like no big deal. Is in actors' world? Is that like um? like a hard five or is that no, like sort of a suggestion? That's like five. a suggestion. That's like a suggestion. Like, um, like, hey, if you want to warm up and like grab a coffee, um, then get here at five. But it doesn't actually mean that rehearsal starts at five. And actors need to greet each other, right? Like hugs, kisses, like give candy. Yeah, totally. Like gifts for each other. Cough on each other. A little coughing um, from the understudy to the lead. Um, yes. <laughs> first of all, I have to ask the question, like, we'll just get this out of the way, first thing. I was a huge fan of Alex Mack, and, um, can you morph? Can you morph? No. <laughs> Are you just saying that for the cameras, or, like, you really can't turn into liquid metal? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Please tell me we're filming this. Please tell me we're filming this. <laughs> Is that your director? We're on our way. Oh, that's your co-star, Oli? Yeah. He's got tea for me. I hope it's peppermint. God willing. <laughs> oh, like. So I was surprised when I saw the show that you do, in fact, have the voice of a baby angel. And <laughs> I was just wondering, um, I know that you sort of started your career like you were in Les Mis and that kind of led you to get your first I agent. In Les I was in Les Mis and one of the other guys in our show... Um, was a little was a little person like like a uh, small, clarification like a human like a ten year old human okay in Les Mis okay as well. so we're both Les Mis kids you were in the same production of no, Les Mis not in the same production he was here on like on actual Broadway and I was in San Francisco which does some really legitimate theater you guys but but Lorraine like, see but there's this guy <sighs> are you single are you single whatever do you All think. Right. Oh, this is her co-star, Oli. We'll just go say hi. Hey, Oli! Oh, we're five minutes late. We're fine. I'm Risa. I think we're Facebook friends. Yes. Risa, La Risa. Risa, the Risa. Is this that? This is that thing. This yeah, is this that is weird that thing. thing. Oh, sorry, sorry. Pardon. Sorry. Oh my God, are we getting actors' Pardon. tea? Pardon. Yeah. Cool. Um, so. We're pretty late. We should really probably. Okay. How late are you guys right now? We're like, we're 29 minutes late. Is your director usually cool about that stuff? Yeah, it's totally fine. It's not. What's it like working with Larissa? She's nice. She's nice. She's, she's really nice. Okay, thank you. Um, Is that your only question, Holly? So, we know people still recognize you, you know, as Alex Mack, like, on the subway, but do they also sometimes just, like, see you and they're like, Cynthia Cosgrove! What? I only get called, like, here's the interesting thing. I get called Mrs. Cosgrove if someone's hitting on me at a bar. They, they lead with Mrs. Cosgrove. I did do that. <laughs> that is, uh... Oh my god, is this the theater? This is where the magic happens? Here we are. Ten things I hate about you. Did you and all the hot teen stars just interact between... Ten, ten things I hate about you. You and all the sexy young heartthrobs. Did you hook up? Were you intimate? Was it like a cuddle puddle? Did you date them? I did not. That's... Two of them did. What? Two of them did? Oh my god. Musical theater is happening. This is so raw and real right now. Is it messed up? She was late. 
I mean, this is like, what, half an hour, and we're in the middle of stuff. This is getting a little ridiculous. It's a little unprofessional. Yeah, I mean, we just have to jump into it. Sorry, we're getting no problem. Looks good. I'm in the show. This is where you couldn't dance, so they were like, sit in a chair. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Um, which people here are the best dancers? Um, Claire's a really good dancer. Sorry, I didn't know that we were starting. Oh my god, it's Marshall, the director. Congratulations on your great New York Times review. Thanks. So, um, sorry, uh, can we just do some, uh, sorry, hey, we're gonna do some, we're gonna do some notes. So can I talk to Larissa and Oli and everyone else just? Notes uh, are just a way for an actor to get like a little more spe specificity with their performance. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> I think I'm, I think I should probably listen to Marshall. I don't get it. If you guys already got a good review, why do you need notes? I'm in character as the DJ. Do you have to warm up your voice for the performance? No. Do you guys have to warm up your voices for the performance? Yes. Yeah. 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 Are you going to do that soon? Do you guys do that every day? Yeah. 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 She was on Nickelodeon's Alex Mack. So maybe it's different. I don't know if it's different. Um, I'm, I'm not an actor. So what was your favorite outfit when, that you wore on Mad Men? Um, there was a, a orange checkered dress that I Yes, had. I know it. It's from the season five premiere. Did you get to keep anything? No. <gasps> it's okay, we'll, we'll meow it out, we'll meow it out. <laughs> in music to me. Oh, I thought he said Risa. <laughs> in, in music to me, again, I want to make sure that you take the air. Okay, I want to. Do you have an understudy? Uh, no, not right now. I want to make sure that in the music to me scene that you take some air out of that dialogue with Nelson. Can you? A song that's happening during that moment. What's that mean? Take out air. Uh, just to talk faster. Fascinating. Pretty much like this thing called the hydrangea report. I don't want to give it away, but like they figure out this like classified thing. This this one guy becomes really good friends with. Oh, we're starting. There's Larissa. So bad I wear a clip on tie. I'm so bad I This is awesome. Bronze Age battle axes. You can sit there though. You are killing us right now. We can't let it stand. I went to work for CEDC. We designed machines for farmers. We helped their crops to fight our fungus and thrive. Then they moved me to a secret team. Um, designed the mobile system. You are handsome. Toxic germs no man could survive. Is there harmonizing the happening? Slurry. Yeah, the two girls the just... The two girls just harmonized. This was an amazing, amazing interview with Larissa Olenek, and I think that we really connected and probably will text in the future. Everyone should go see Who's Your Bag Daddy at the Actors Temple. It's running now. Like, when you see this, go online. If you live in New York City, you can see the show. Bye, Larissa. Thank you so much. Bye, Risa. Great connecting with you all. Just, just have fun and listen. Just some acting advice I heard once. This is Risa with Inconvenient Interviews with Risa and Hello Giggles. Life is but a stage on off Broadway. This is a beautiful cast, physically. Can you get on my nose? Someone's flat. I don't mean you, I mean myself.